welcome back and if you're new here my name is Donna and I've been traveling around Australia with my family for the last two years and today we are out at Francois Perron National Park in Shark Bay and oh my it is absolutely beautiful out here there were so many people right then when we were letting our tires down so we decided to go right up to the tip and then make our way back down Randomly. this is a two-way yeah. road so yeah, so we're taking things backwards. So we're just on our way out to Herald Wright. It's a good campsite because it's sheltered. Well, if you need to be sheltered from the southwesterly winds, but it is a little boggy, but it doesn't matter. You're not going to take your caravan out here anyway. This is full four wheel drive. Oh, feel that. Something Golly. Oh. No. oh, wow. No. It does say to download this app in case you get oh, no. stuck but we didn't do that oops wow look at that wants to know what you're going down to oh uh, probably the 25 just come out to skip that joint which skip jack point which in my opinion is the main part that you want to come out and see because it's got this pier let's go have a look you're gonna enjoy this well I will it is like literally so bloody beautiful it was nothing like this last year I swear it wasn't anything blue like this Karen What have you found? Yeah, God! Yeah. <laughs> We've just pulled up to Cape Perrin and just trying to work out if it's a good spot to have lunch. This place, uh, Francis, Francois Perron, is apparently how you say it, or something similar to that, is actually named after a French man. He's a naturalist and I think he visited the area in the early 1800s. So we're just going to get back up here and I think there's like a shelter that we can actually cook some lunch on. We're both having uh, steak sandwiches, so that'll be uh, like delicious. Okay, so we've got some steak over there. Look at that. What a feast. That would be nice. Ah, what is he? Look at him, he's up and about, isn't he? Wow, that looks so good. How much do you reckon that's worth at a pub? Oh, that's 200 bucks worth of food. 200, 200 bucks worth of food. Yeah, 50 bucks per burger. Ah, so we could have dinner out tonight then. It's a bit hot, so we're just going to go for a little swim. And this is why it's so magical here, is because the crocs don't come down this low. Yet it is still absolutely magnificent. It's like being out at Broome somewhere. And the other thing is, sadly the whales don't come here because they kind of avoid Shark Bay, not because of the sharks, but because of the peninsulas. So they kind of veer off out further west, out a bit more into the ocean. But we've seen plenty of dolphins just swimming out here in the break. Hey, Roxy. I'm gonna go for a swim, girls. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There's a huge ray just there. You see it? Ah, uh, Roxy was first. Woo Everyone else doesn't have to now. <laughs> as soon as I got there, Dad caught a riding. Oh, really? Some 
bull in front of us in a Subaru. Um, I'm trying to rip bumped. his bull bar bumped. off. Oh, his bumper bar. So we've just put the snatch strap on and towing them out. This is our French oh, lady really friend. We just, oh, we yeah, no, you won't be famous. There's like a hundred people watch. Oh, can you say how it's actually pronounced? François Piron. Oh my gosh. I'm such an Aussie. I'm like, Francois Poirot. <laughs> Take them to the top of this hill. That's a good idea. That's where things break, yeah? yeah or the air, the, is that where the suspension's good? That's why we pay money for upgraded and that's suspension, why we lift kits, and big cars. Yeah. Like the I'm just that's explaining this because I didn't really know yeah, how this boggy. all worked. So. There we go. We're all and this is why we got this. So, if the spag I wonder why, where the pass, black, it won't bang our hand. black sand comes from. Someone's been bogged there. Yeah, exactly right, Tex. And the trying to get themselves out of it. But wonder where the black sand comes from. Do you reckon it's just dirt? If you dig under deeper, you will. Underneath. So yeah, yeah. The, the beach was white, but it had black sand under no, it. It only yeah. stinks. Oh, it's a stomach workout. Oh, my belly's hurting more now. Okay, I'm going to have a lovely time around at Cape Peron. It's called the Cape because it's right at the point. Um, and it's just absolutely beautiful. The desert meeting the ocean and the white sand and the little tiny fish that we caught that we kept putting back was just lovely. So we're now uh, driven around a little bit further and we're at Bottle Bay and it is spectacular also. There's hardly anyone here. It's hot so we're going to take a little swim. first then Big Lagoon? Yeah we've just had a swim so we may as well not stay here we'll go around Gregory's check it out and then we're gonna go to Big Lagoon hang out there for the last hour of the day. Sweet. We've just had to pull up. Uh, there's like a big convoy of cars lined up. And there's two cars that have blocked the road because they've, we're going slow and, what do you call it? Got bogged. Mm -hmm. hmm. Kids are out there playing, need a drink. 
front of us has got a 79 Land Cruiser and it's got six wheels on it. It is so long and absolutely epic. And look at Mark. <laughs> ah, geez, how's this? What a beast. Ah, oh, oh, it's pretty That's nice. That's what Dad sounds like. I know. He's frothing. Oh, He's man. He's up his tyres. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's he doing? <laughs> Jen's got me running around getting the caps. Come on, Mark, chop, chop. Somebody likes that his How'd you go? Good. <laughs> you can tow 5.5? Yeah. Wow. That is epic. I want caps, Judy. What does that mean? Judy. Take the caps off the wheels. Oh, good girl. Yeah. So nothing happened. So we didn't quite make it to Big Lagoon because it was getting dark. So what do you know? We've ended up at the pub. It's so funny because the people watching probably think, oh, you don't go to the pub room. <laughs> do they? Yeah, weird. It's very funny because I go all the time. Good morning. This morning we are back uh, out at Francois. Francois. <laughs> Peron National Park. First stop is the homestead out here. We're just taking a stroll and we're not really sure what it's all about, so I thought we'd go check it out. Oh wow, this looks pretty. Brown. This is the Artisan hot bath and apparently it is super, super hot. The kids have got their bathers on, but I don't reckon they'll even get in, it's that hot. It's 40 degrees Celsius. Oh wow. That it's really, really hot. 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, are we going in? There's three levels. There's three levels. My legs are sunburned. Oh. Is this? You hear the wind howling through the trees. It's kind of spooky. These are the old trees. This is like their old shearing squatters. Quarters, yeah. Oh, squatters quarters. Wow, do you, it's all just open like that. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Cold some nights. Dinner you, time! You got any KFC? I wouldn't mind some KFC gravy and chips. No, it's only steak. Steak? Oh, that'll do. Lamb steak. We've made it out to Big Lagoon, which is just beautiful. And there's a lovely little campsite here, which we stayed last year. Um, we're not going to stay this year because we've got the kitty cats. Um, but look at it, it's just gorgeous. I think you caught some fish here last time, yeah? I can't remember. I remember fishing off this rock. Yeah. And that no, goes I out to the ocean, yeah? There's a man around there, around that corner, getting flatties in the shallows. Oh, now yes. I remember. But no, I didn't get in. I never do. So the ocean goes out there? Yep, that's it. It goes around and out. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely. Oh, compared to last year, it's so cold last year. Oh, it's like heavenly, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's actually quite hot today. So refreshing. This place is full of midges. I don't know if you can see, but they're like all on my hat. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, at least they're not biting me. That's amazing. Check out this place. That is a campground down there. And just in front of us there is where the camps are. So you can actually get a camp and have this lovely view. So at the start, at the homestead, I'm out to Francis Perrion. They have Pr Francois, yeah, Francois Perron. Perron. Mm -hmm. So it, it gets soft after you, so they supply air for you. So, so it's, amazing. It's a bonus. It's a real bonus. And is it just a heap easier too because you don't have to get yours out? Yeah. Does it have a gauge on it? Yep. Hmm. Good as gold. I'm going 
going to put them on the tire. Alright. What are you doing there, Till? Dumping the tires up. Good job. <laughs> Good on you. Know what it, looks like. it is hard. I've held it on there, isn't it? Yeah, the little kid. Good. What are you pumping him up to? I don't know. Take him up to about fifty odd. I'll check them later. I don't know how accurate that is. Well, it's time for us to head back into Denham now. We're going to get ourselves some fish and chips. Thanks so much for watching. If you've made it all the way here, why don't you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. That really does help our channel. And we'll see you next time.